Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nelly and I'm Owl Tarot and I'm here to give you guys your weekly reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Capricorn, this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Hang on guys. Sorry about that guys. Alrighty, also this reading is meant to give you an idea of the energy that's coming towards you this week. So please don't forget to check your other placements to so get a better understanding of this energy. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it, and there is no gender in tarot, so please reverse the roles as need be. Alrighty, guys, I went ahead and I shuffled your cards. I meditate. I've asked the universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians what's coming towards you for this week, and I had the answers right in front of me. I went ahead and I laid out the energy from the person, place, or thing that you're currently dealing with, and we're going to clarify with um, your energy, okay? All right, guys, I feel that in the past there was an offer made and somebody took it back. Somebody had made you, made your love offer to start a new beginning, to start a new relationship with you, but they took it back. They were juggling, okay? This person was being very deceptive. They were playing a lot of mind games with you. They were stealing, possibly stealing from you, not necessarily financially stealing, but stealing your energy, stealing your peace of mind. Um, like I said, this person took that offer back. You might have started dating this person, but right away this connection broke up, okay? This person um, s seemed to be like this a knight, uh, knight in shining armor came in to save the day. You know, you felt like this was destined, that this person was going to give you all the happiness in the world, okay? You were finally going to have that happy home, that happy life. You felt like this person was your wish fulfillment. This person just made you totally, totally happy. You had literally thought that the gods had finally shined on you. That they had brought you justice. That they had brought you somebody that wanted to equally give and take in a connection. To work with you. To balance things out. This person was, was going to work with you to build a beautiful future for yourself, for them, and for your future family. Okay? But unfortunately, I feel that these things are switched. This person was just possibly being def defensive or in any, in any given case, really confused. They could have recently been um, dealing with a, a karmic partner that they were releasing when they met you. Okay? They could have been dealing with somebody else, but this somebody else possibly got back into the picture and destroyed whatever good was going to come towards you. I feel that unfortunately, and I hate to say this to you guys, but you were rebound. You were the rebound, you know. The person that you were dealing with um, was was just, he, he or she was showing you a lot of passion. They had a lot of passion for you with this queen of fire or king of fire. They they they, they viewed you as a sexy, a sexy, beautiful person. Like they, they, want, they, they were just wanting to be with you intimately in all levels, okay. But let's get your cards clarified here, guys. What is this two of pentacles universe for my capricorns the hangman yeah this person had you hanging they had you in a standstill they this person wasn't sure if they wanted to go to the past person or move on with you in the future okay what is the seven of swords here the messenger of earth yeah Let's see. you see how this person looks deceptive you see how she's just looking out to see what she can get that's what i feel that this person was Deceptive. They were just looking for what they can get. They, they weren't trying to give you their heart. They already had gone through a real big heartbreak. They weren't trying to do that anymore. This person was out for what they wanted, okay? What is this tool cups in the reverse? The Queen of Fires. Yes, yeah, see? They were using you. They were using you to forget the past person, okay? They, they made you feel... Like, you know, you were going to be the number one, you were going to be the next wife, you were going to have everything. But in truth be told, this person wasn't trying to get into a committed relationship with you. This person was trying to forget the past committed relationship that they had. What is the chariot universe? The king of water. Yeah, this person came in with all this love, showing you all this love, all this compassion, all this sincerity, okay? This person really laid it on thick with you. What is this wheel of fortune here? The wheel of fortune in reverse. You see, it's clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. You thought that this person was coming in. You thought that this person was heaven sent. You thought that you finally got lucky. But truth be told, this person was a karmic person. They were just coming in to be a karmic person, a karmic partner. They weren't coming in because it was your time to shine. No, it was. they were coming in because they were trying to forget the past situation. They were using you pretty much is what this person was doing. They were using you to try to forget their past hurts. But never did they realize that at the end of the day, they were going to hurt a real good person. They were going to hurt the person that they actually could have had a beautiful life with. What is this four of wands here? The hermit, yeah. 
this person had had you thinking that there was going to be a happy home, a happy life, a happy wife, a happy husband, matching BMWs. They just laid it on really, really thick, okay? This person had told you they were going to give you the keys to their empire, the keys to their home, the keys to the heart. But in, in reality, this person was keeping the truth from you. They weren't trying to let you know that this is not what they wanted. They just wanted to lay it on thick with you so they can have that inkling or either possibly make the past person jealous or just feel like they no longer need the past person. Person, okay what is this nine of cups here the six of air yeah the nine of cups the six of air yeah this person had you stuck you couldn't even leave with the six of air here they, they had you stuck in the situation they had you thinking that they were your, your wish fulfillment or you were their wish fulfillment this person had you really mentally mentally stuck in the situation I don't know I feel that with the six of six of of air which is the six of um swords they didn't let you they they had you stuck like they had you stuck but because you you had the opportunity to have happiness elsewhere but because this person was laying it on so thick they they confused you to the point that you you felt like you couldn't leave that you couldn't leave from this situation okay what is this queen of wands here the star, yeah. This person was just in and out for their convenience. This person wasn't healed. I feel that this person was trying to make their past person jealous with you. They weren't trying to heal themselves. They weren't trying to heal that past connection. They weren't even trying to heal this connection. This person was just using you to make the past person jealous. Pretty much you were being used so they can show the other past person that they can find love right away, that they don't need them. Okay, I don't think this person is with the past person and obviously not with you on good terms. Okay, they're just being a very deceptive person, but shit's going to catch up to them. Shit's going to catch up to them. Things are going to start getting balanced out and, and the truth is, come, is going to come to the light. And this is where this person is really going to kick in the ass. What is the Six of Pentacles? The Ten of Water. Yep, the Ten of Cups. Yep, it's time. It is time. To have some equal give and take it is time for for you to be able to enjoy that happy life that you deserve it is time and then i don't feel it's going to be with this person you're not going to have this happiness with this person i feel it's it, this is you you need to balance yourself out already in order for you to open the doors to this happiness to this ten of, of cups ten of waters here what is the six of earth again guys i keep on telling you it's time for you to balance things out Balance yourself out. Balance your emotions out. Because you know what? Things are starting to come towards you. But the universe isn't going to give you anything. Isn't going to give you happiness until you balance yourself out. Until you figure out what is good for you. What isn't good for you. What you need to release and what you don't need to release. If you're still dealing with this person, please understand that this person is not your person. This person is a karmic person. They came up twice as a karmic person. This person is in and out. This person is only here for what they want, not for what you want. And this person is telling you you're the number one. But truth be told, they're putting you in a third party situation. They're making you be the third party situation just to make someone else jealous. What is this justice here, universe? The, tem the, 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 the temptation. Yeah. It's time for you to change. It's time for you to change. In order for you to allow the justice in, it's time for you to change. Stop being a doormat. Stop being the person that whenever this person is sad or they want to be with somebody, they call you and you'll be like, okay, yeah, I'm here. Or they'll text you, are you home? And you'll be like, yeah, I'm home. I'm coming by. You'll be like, okay. And you get all ready and all cute and everything for them. For what? This person is only using you for what they want you for. They're going to come in the house and be like, hey, babe, how are you? How was your day? Blah, blah, blah. The second they're done with you, they're going to walk out and possibly not even give you a kiss. Just kiss you on the forehead or the cheek and walk out like, okay, service is done. Gotta go. I feel that energy from this person. You need to, you need to release this karmic person. Like you, you need to move away. Give your, If this person is not going to bring you justice, you give yourself justice and remove yourself from the situation. The seven of water. Yeah, this person, you're an option in this person's book. You're an option. And the more you allow this person, this toxic person in your life, and the more you refuse to give yourself justice, the more you're going to continue being an option. This person will never make you number one. You will always be an option to them. 
Alrighty guys, I hope this resonates. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.